What's up guys? Charles Jamabi here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit of Dread Talk and I'm going to trash talk a little bit. I'm going to let you know ahead of time, this might be a little bit of trash talk and I'm not trying to be a dick. Uh, I'm not trying to be like a Dread elitist, but here's I'm kind of pissed off a lot of people with dreadlocks and it's not... It's a personal thing and like, here's the thing. It's your hair, do what you want, rock it out, um, do your own thing. It's cool, you know, if you don't have dreads, do, do your dreads however you want. It's your hair, it's your body, do your thing. But my topic today is natural free form dreads and I'd like to start off by saying what the actual fuck because and it's not that I have a problem necessarily with free form dreads it's not not that it's not that issue I think the issue is more that people from what I've seen on the forums and the videos I've watched and whatnot uh, the people with free form dreads feel like they're like the best dreadlocks and I don't get it I don't get it I just don't get it like they, they act like oh like they know everything about dreadlocks which they don't because I've proven through my videos some of the facts that are wrong, that they think that rubber bands are not good and you have to use special shampoos, which are also not true because you can use any shitty shampoo and it works. You can use rubber bands and you'll still have dreadlocks like this. It's okay! But it, it just really drives me nuts because I see people that are giving out information on dreadlocks and like chatting themselves up. Like basically like, hey, good job, buddy, I'm so great! And they have these like really like messy, nappy... To put it in like... so. I'm white. I'm, you know, for the most part, I'm white. I mean, I'm tan now, but I'm mostly white. They have, like, really bad white person dreadlocks. And it's the kind of thing that if you are someone with good dreadlocks, and I'm not saying me, but I'm saying, like, other people, like, they're just like, really? That's, you're, you're being cocky about your shitty dreadlocks, and you're putting other people down about theirs? Like, I've had people comment on mine, like, oh, yours are too neat. I can see too much of your scalp. You're going bald, da da da. Here's how I do my dreads. And I look at their, I look at their video, and I'm like, your dreads suck, bro. Come on, what, what, what's up with that? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's, it's the whole long, wispy ends. Like, I trim my ends. Like, yeah, I try to trim my dreads. Like, I'm not a free-form person, and I'm not a natural person. So what? I don't care. I don't care. I trim my ends, because I don't like wispy, crappy, frizzy hair. I also don't like up here, where it's super, like, nappy and flyaways, and it's just, like, it looks messy, and it's, like... And I'm not saying for everyone. I mean, everyone, some people have okay dreads with that, and it works for them, and, like, there's some girls I've seen for sure that have had really kind of hot dreads, and I'm like, alright, that, that works for you, you know, you, you have that kind of hippie vibe going, that's cool. But the same people also, from these forums I'm reading and watching and videos and whatnot, that people are bitching like, oh, I can't get a job, or they told me I'm gonna have to cut my hair at work, or da 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 da. A, if it's for religious purposes, your hair is fine. You can't, they can't tell you anything about your hair because it's religious purposes, but you have to claim that right off the bat. B, what do you expect? I mean, really. You have really messy, nappy dreads. And you're like, oh, they're not trying to take me seriously in the corporate world. I've had issues in the corporate world with my dreadlocks. And my dreadlocks are clean and tidy and very, like, you know, sectioned off. And they're not taking me seriously. There's no way in hell they're going to take you seriously. And maybe, like, you know, if you work in the corporate world on a movie set and you're, like, a grip or a best boy or whatever, then uh, they're not going to care. Or you work at McDonald's or at a record store, they're probably not going to care, but... Don't get all high and mighty with your nappy dreads and help people that they're doing it wrong or that they shouldn't use this shampoo, they shouldn't use rubber bands, or they shouldn't do this or that, or they should... They, you're not... Don't get all high and mighty. It's annoying to people like me, especially me, it's annoying to me that, that people get all high and mighty about their really nappy dreadlocks. And like, like I said, it's a personal preference on my point. I like my dreads the way I like my dreads, and I'm sure you like your dreads the way you like your dreads. I'm here just to teach people how to do dreads like this. Don't knock me for doing my dreads this way, and I'm not going to knock you for doing your dreads that way. That's your personal preference, and that's your opinion. But this is my opinion, and I'm just like, I don't dig it. I'm sorry that's the way it is, but, uh... And if, you're, if you have nappy dreads, and like messy dreads, and you're trying to learn, cool. Like, my dreads weren't always perfect right off the bat, and I get that. But I hate when people get all high and mighty about it. That's what drives me nuts. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Look, you're going to do this wrong. Da, da, da. Look. You can offer information, that's cool. You can offer opinions, and you can try to help out, but don't criticize people about doing something wrong, especially when you don't know the right answer. Like, rubber bands are not going to work. They're going to mess up your hair. Or you can only use dread shampoo. Or, you don't, or only use stuff with... What's what's a big one? Without um, conditioners. Or only use hair... Or only use shampoo with that's uh, residue-free. Like, what? What? I'm not positive, but I think it's going to leave some residue regardless. I mean, it's and if it doesn't, maybe it all rinses out, but I use Suave, and it's fine. 
So that's just my little rant, and I'm sorry if I offended people, and I don't mean to offend, but it's just, I'm sick of it. Like, people are just going off on their high horses, and it's like, no, no, I'm going to push you off your high horse and tell you how it is. Um, it's just my opinion, but sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> you can like and subscribe below. You can follow me on Instagram, Charles Mabe. You can find me on Facebook, Charles Mabe. You can email me at charlesmabe at gmail.com. I always forget one. There's only three. My brain is not so good. That's all right. Um, that's all I got, and thanks. Love you guys.